because they're just not aligned in gravity, they're just not relaxed as they work. And so this becomes very important in doing massage to be able to, as much as possible, uh, relax and flow. I can show you how not to do this, which would involve what you see a lot of times with people is they have their feet uh, at the same, instead of being in sort of a lunge stance, they have their feet next to each other. And when they do the effleurage, they bend in their back like this, which means that they're off balance. And it also means that if they do this hundreds of times a day, they're going to have low back problems. Okay. The low back will flex, but it's really, we're not designed to bend forward by flexing in the low back. That's why we have a hip joint. So if you put one foot in front of the other and keep your sternum more erect and sort of fall as you do your effleurage, you're able to push from your back foot when you're going forward you're able to push with your front foot when you're coming back so that you're now using your legs rather than using your back to do this work. Also by keeping the sternum up and basically keeping your head looking forward, you're able to breathe. If, you, if you're caved over in this position working, you basically are crunching your, uh, your diaphragm to where it really can't even descend so you can take a decent breath.